can't sorry, com com <coughs> commiserations. How do you process that? Because after slipping two sets to love down, you produce some incredible tennis towards the end of the third set. And um, how do you process the fact that from there you didn't go on to, to win? Sorry, say that again, please. Sorry, I'm so after going two sets to love down, you produced some incredible mm -hmm. tennis at the end of the third set in the tie to break and then in the tie break. And then obviously, um, the, obviously Zverev broke again in the fourth set. How do you process your thoughts in terms of having got to that level and then dipping again? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, um, I'm, let's say, I'm glad to uh, end in the third set playing uh, great tennis. Then uh, at the beginning of the fourth set, uh, according to state, uh, at this at this level, it was a uh, it was a pity. Uh, but uh, anyways, I I found you know the way to to break him uh, he, he serves again and uh, stay on the on the match. But uh, you know I I think I had chances you know in the four three uh, in the fourth set I didn't take it you know. Uh, uh, that's. Uh, I mean, I think I play a, a good tennis in the fourth set. Obviously, not my my best my best level, but uh, you know it was a, a good one. Uh, didn't make my my chances. Uh, you know, a lot of up, up and downs. Uh, you know, with uh, with my with my level, with my tennis, with uh, with the serves, I didn't find a, a good uh, a good serve. So uh, the, um, he he was starting to re well, he he was returning very well. So it was a uh, it was tough to to deal with uh, with that pressure that uh, he puts me in, in in every point with uh, with myself, uh, you know. And uh, that's uh, that's it. That I have to to improve. I have to, to still working on it and and let's see in the in the future. But uh, you know, it's it's the same that I'm on my level today. John. How do you evaluate the whole tournament? It's only you've only been here a few times. You've reached the quarterfinals for the first time. Can you give us a summary of how you feel about the whole tournament? Well, it has been a good tournament for me, uh, making quarterfinals, playing a good tennis. Uh, as I said, I'm uh, I'm sad with uh, with my level today because I I've been playing a good tennis. You know the run before uh, this one with a lot of confidence, uh, serving pretty well. Uh, that I uh, didn't so. Uh, this good level of serves that I, I was showing before uh, before this match. So, uh, but uh, in general, I'm uh, you know I leave the tournament ha happy. Uh, you know, uh, forgetting about uh, to that level. But uh, you know, in, in general, I think I did a pretty good tournament. Uh, you know, I played uh, great, great matches, and uh, obviously, a quarterfinal of a Grand Slam is uh, is good. It's not. What I'm looking for, but uh, it's, it's not bad, you know. <laughs> Quarterfinal is uh, it's a good run, but um, as I said, uh, with the level that I that I was playing before, uh, coming into this uh, into this match with a, a lot of confidence, knowing that uh, I'm uh, playing a good tennis, is uh, it's uh, it's the same uh, that I started uh, the match like like the way that I did and and ending the, the way that I did. So, but that it's it's tennis. You played in this tournament uh, without your main coach. So, what do you think if this affected on your result today? No, it didn't affect at all. Uh, as I said, I, I was playing a great tennis, you know, without without, without him. Uh, I, I had someone that is a pretty good coach as well, uh, and I trust him 100%. Uh, as I said before, before the tournament began, so it, it didn't affect me at all. Um, yes, uh, in the um, did the crowd, the energy of the crowd, sort of you know lift you in the in the third set. Is that sort of what sparked that that comeback, taking it to a tiebreak and producing some you know amazing shots? Probably, uh, I mean, I think it was a uh, it was a fourth set, f fourth set uh, because of the crowd uh, and the way that uh, the they bring energy to me. It was uh, it was crazy. Uh, I was down, totally down, and they they started uh, or they didn't stop to uh, supporting me. So it was uh, it, it was it was crazy. So I. 
Uh, I want to, th to thank to thank them, you know, to stay there, uh, believing in me, uh, supporting me in, in every wall, in, in every point. So uh, probably the, the comeback, you know, in the third set, uh, it was uh, thanks to them. So without them, probably I, I would have lost in, in three sets. One more in English, John. Um, you were the only man to beat Novak in a Grand Slam tournament last year. Do you think there's somebody else here who might be able to do it this time? Well, I, I think uh, the players that uh, are in the semi-finals has uh, have the level to to beat to beat him. Uh, let's see, uh, it's not easy to beat Novak in in a tournament, but I think it's even tougher uh, in a Grand Slam. But uh, he has to face Janik Sinner that uh, he's playing an unbelievable game. Uh, he has not drop a jet uh, a set in, in this tournament uh, that means that uh, he has the level uh, and the capacity to to beat Novak uh, so let, let's see I'm gonna watch the the matches uh, of course and uh, and yeah I think uh, the players that uh, are in this uh, stage uh, has the level to beat him yeah.